If you're an iCAD user and still haven't tried my template, then you're missing out. Today, it gets even better with walk-in robes. What's going on guys? My name's David Tomage. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And for the past several months, we've been building the ultimate Archicad template. I'm gonna walk you through what we've done to date, and then we're gonna take a look at the brand new robe introductions, as well as a first glimpse at the keynotes. As you can see in front of me, the house is starting to come together. There's a few rooms that have been completed and lots of detail to go through. So as a quick summary, let's just establish what's been, well, established. First of all, of course, we've set up all of our layers and all of our layer combinations perfectly in tune with the rest of the documentation set. Our view map has been curated perfectly for architectural documentation. And we've also introduced a custom title block. Now that title block comes in A1, A2 and A3 sizing, which is the Australian metric way. If you're an Imperial, you can just slightly adjust these to make sure they fit your paper sizing. We then started by introducing our own libraries. So in our library manager, you'll see DT003-05, which includes a series of materials, plumbing, electrical, mechanical, and all sorts of extra goodies. Now, just in the material library in itself, you'll see there's the ABI, color bond colors, engineered quartz, polytech, porcelain slabs, textiles, and tiles. For example, in porcelain slabs, we have a series of ambassador stone, 12 millimeter thick stones perfectly set up for us. Same as the engineered slabs, we have about 20 mil stones perfectly set up. Now, it doesn't matter which one you click on, every single one has been set up and every single one is current for Ambassador Stone. Realistically, if you're not purchasing it from Ambassador Stone, these are gonna be very similarly named on other brands and other companies, especially when we're talking about porcelain slabs, when a super white is of course a super white, a Taj Mahal is of course a Taj Mahal. As part of our library dedication, you'll see down the bottom 2D and 3D objects. I'll get into 2D in two seconds, but if we double click into kitchen, you'll see a series of kitchen items, a series of laundry items, a series of bathroom items that are coming in the next video and bedroom items that are of course coming in the next video. What I need to include as part of this video is walk-in robes, which is exactly what we're talking about, but we'll get to that. Next, of course, we have our 2D details, which have gone to town and documented so many 2D details for you guys. That you can just double click on an undermount sink get that 2D detail perfect for you, no further work required. Same with base cabinetry shelving, porcelain and quartz bench tops, stone thickenings, stone basins with soap shelves. There is so many details here that you will simply use time and time again and never have to re-document. And if you're thinking, how do all these pens and colors perfectly align? Well, I've also introduced the pen sets explained. Now, this is an international pen set standard which tells you how each pen works and boring stuff really. You can read into it if you want, but generally what I've done is created a black and white color palette, which is very basic black and white with minimal colors. That's what I use personally for my documentation. There's a Tomich International Color, which uses the International Pen Set Guide and then reshuffles some of the colors to suit my branding. So by default, we're always on Tomich Black and White. There's a couple of details for our parking as well. So for example, the Australian Acrod parking bay standards are right here, but this is getting more into the lines of commercial, which the template will get into once this house is completed. We've already then started actually documenting things. You see, we've documented a full kitchen, a scullery, a laundry, the provisional spaces for the dining room, the living room, the garage, where our staircase is most likely gonna go, and then the commencement of our walk-in robe. You'll also see the commencement of our keynotes, which I'll get into at the end of this video. But let's keep having a browse. If we go into our 3D window, you'll see we have our kitchen design in front of us. Now, this kitchen has been fully decked out, fully created with all sorts of perfect parts. So we have Fisher and Paykel, rain shoulds up the top. We have custom cooktops. We have ABI interiors, tapware, Fisher and Paykel, fridges. And then if we get into the scullery, we then again have built-in microwave steam ovens, dishwasher cabinetry, double drawers, overhead cupboards, everything absolutely custom, perfectly curated. Similarly, if we're going into our laundry through this custom door, which I've also created for you guys, we just jump into doors, favorites, openings, and doors. You'll see I've created four custom doors specifically tailored to the exact specifications that we use here in WA. So easy jam doors all over Australia, square rear bend doors all over Australia, Manhattan doors, glass, Corinthian doors. Again, it's all right there for you, including the cavity slider that is pictured 
in front of you. Then we fly into our laundry, another one of those custom easy jam doors, washer, dryer, our concealed clothesline rail, LED strip lighting, pull out shelves, bench seating, LED strip lighting on the ceiling, and of course, external windows and framing, which if we come into our windows, we'll then have our glass hinge doors that have created a custom external swing door, custom awnings, fixed windows, casements, double hungs, and slidings. I've also made these all absolute maximum size they can go based on capital framing which means when you click in this you don't have to think about it you know this window can't be any bigger than five meters by 1600 is that good enough perfect use it make it smaller but don't make it bigger all this is included in the template and every month it gets better and better now obviously the template is designed to let you guys utilize and create however you see fit it's not designed for you to copy and paste the design is used as a showcase of what the template could be so that that way you know how things come together, how they're meant to be documented and what you need to do to create your perfect project. I'll jump in the middle here to let you know if you're looking to download the Ultimate Arcad template, it's available through Patreon. It is as cheap as I can make it to make it accessible to as many people as possible. So for just $10 a month, you gain access to the Ultimate Arcad template. It's available on Arcad 28 and 27. So check out the links down in the description below. Now enough of that, let's fly towards our master bedroom and start walking in through the master bedroom. The first thing you're gonna see is of course our bench seat with a couple drawers below. Three coat hooks above and timber joinery all around the walls. If I haven't already mentioned it, all of the walls have also been set up. So if we take a look at our wall compositions, I have existing walls, timber walls, brick, block, concrete, you name it, it's all here and there's varieties on every single one. We have walls, of course, we have slabs too. So if we go into slabs, the same system applies. Insulated, uninsulated, concrete, timber, hebel, it's here. Whatever you need, it is most likely here or a variation of it, at least as a starting point. So this wall, as an example, is of course, a timber frame with laminate on both sides, composite structure. Let's have a quick fly over the top. We've of course got the his and hers style walking robe. On the right hand side, we have the hers. On the left, we have the his. So let's fly in and start with the hers. We have our standard single shelf and rail, which is the most common thing you can have in a robe. You might not need the custom cabinetry around, so I've split it into two items. And for 3D representation purposes, I've put some clothes in too. LED strip lighting on all the exposed paneling, so it will look incredible in a 3D render if you were simply to drag and drop this in. Then moving along, we have our double shelf and rail. The next step up, if you've got a little bit more money, double hanging shelf and rail, absolutely perfect. Open shelving, of course, if you're gonna store bits and bobs or introduce baskets or buckets inside. Then a concealed cabinetry. So three drawers at the bottom going up to 900 high so that that way you're used to the shelf height inside and double drawer with a rail inside. Of course, we have our makeup station along the back wall with our custom fixed frame panel behind, sheer curtains and a floating mirror. The mirror would be suspended by wires, but we don't really need to model that because it's just two simple columns. On the other side, we have a duplicate of our drawers and our shelves. And then we have our sliding door system. Now, this sliding door system is the most commonly used in Australia, at least here in Western Australia. This in particular one is a high spec, of course. This is metal framed with mirrored doors, whereas the cheaper option is just your basic white sliding rope doors. And of course, basic white malamite inside instead of custom Polytech or Laminex color matching to the face. Now, if we fly over to the his side of things, so on the left-hand side, we have a larger version of our sliding doors. In front of us, we have openable shelves. So they're just swing doors that we open up, grab anything we need inside, make sure the dust isn't collected, and that way everything stays neat and tidy inside. On the opposite side, we have open shelving at the bottom for your shoes, two drawers for socks and undies, and then of course, your hanging rail, and up the top, potentially suitcases, hats, boots, whatever is just too big and bulky. Last but not least, of course, our standard double door cabinetry with shelving behind. This is the more likely scenario of what thing people are gonna to use to hide their cabinetry, but I like open cabinetry, especially when it's designed in this manner. And there we go, that is the male and female. Now if we jump to the floor plan, you'll see we have R1 all the way through to R8 with BS1, DSK1, M1, and SC1. You might be thinking, what the hell is going on, David? Well, that is the fundamental basics of our keynotes. So if we come at the top, go to document, scroll down to keynotes, we'll see cabinetry, 
furniture and fittings are two categories I've started to fill out. Cabinetry, shelf and rail are one, which is this keynote right here. If we click on that keynote, it'll tell us it's a single hanging room with shelf above. So when we document it, we fill out our keynote section in the layout page. There'll be a table at the end that says R1 is a single hanging rail with shelf above. Same sort of system applies for R2 with the double hanging rail all the way through to R8, which is full custom cabinetry. Just look at the room layout. It's too hard to explain. And then of course we have our mirror one, which is referencing our indenter documentation. Again, later down the track, but if you watch the programmer videos, you get a sneak peek of what's actually gonna happen. We have our floating desk with drawers and we have our sheer curtains. The sheer curtains gets into a bit more detail. You know, it's important here. Full height, allow a 10 millimeter gap between floor and bottom of curtains, color as per adenda. That sets the architectural tone and language and then lets the interior design team do what they need to do. Now this is just a teaser into keynotes. There's so many keynotes that we need to add into this project, but I thought I'd get started before it's too late. Because realistically, I'm going to be spending about a month adding thousands of keynotes into this project. So you guys never have to type in full height, allow 10 millimeter gap ever again. You can literally click, drag, drop, repeat, and go through your documentation way faster. Anyway, that's all for me, team. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I'll see you next week.